Okay, so here I want to talk about how a negative expected value situation turns into a positive expected value situation and why that happens. So here, this is really bad decision making from me, I will admit that freely. Let's put to all so we can see what happens. Now, if we leave these two people alone, this is my decision. This is my decision making after what I did, which was an awful play by me. So if we leave these two people alone, they can't actually get back into their base, apart from going the whole way around and taking forever to get back there. And they're dead for 50 seconds, so they're not actually going to get any help. And we could probably push through here, push through here, into the next distance and end the game. And there's not a lot they could do about it, because we're 5v2 and they're not respawning for ages. So the, the expected value of just doing that is basically like 100% of the time you win the game doing that play. Maybe not 100, maybe 95 because Akali makes some sick genius play and wins. But I would say 95 out of 100 times you made that kind of safe, safe, expected playstyle I guess. I don't know how to say the words for it. Safe, smart and solid playstyle. There you go, that's better. Um, you're going to win the game straight up by doing that kind of play. Now here I made a decision that probably a lot of players would actually make because they get greedy for frags once they've got two or three. And I first over this wall. Now, what value do I really gain from doing that? Probably, I would say not, because at best, I crit Akali twice and kill her, but she has chain burst, so probably not. And at worst, Nidalee goes into cat form, jumps on me, cues me, then Akali kills me, because he still has one stack of his armor, so he can, he can still kill me, don't get me wrong. And so we'll see how this plays out, and I will freely admit, Again, this is a negative expected value situation, and it was a very, very, very bad play for me. There's no reason for me to ever do this. Or any of you, never go chasing frags when you're in a situation like this where you can just end the game, because ultimately you're going to lose more games by doing this. So, I hit Nidalee, don't get a crit, use my Q for no reason, almost die by Nidalee here, and then a wait gets the kill. Now again, we're wasting time. This is two seconds gone. Three, four, and for what? Now we push through and we end the game. But like I said, that was a very, very bad expected value situation and a bad play from me because ultimately I gained no value out of doing that that I wouldn't have got anyway. And there's just never a reason to ever make a play like that. Because like I said, now Akali's going to stand here and be able to do nothing to stop us from getting this tower. And even if Nidalee was here, they couldn't do anything. I should have made the decision to instantly push the Nexus and not be greedy and flush over the wall. And yes, we did win that situation, but it could have gone very, very badly, because if I did die there, which was a possibility, don't get me wrong, I definitely could have died. The Carlos started to ignite, and if they would actually hit me, they probably would have killed me. Now, if I died there, we probably would not have had, she had the damage to push through the base and end the game in time before they respawned, because they were almost respawning here, and Mimi has just come up and actually up in 4 seconds. If, uh, if I died, the chances are we would have lost about... 2,000, 3,000 damage overall on the buildings and wouldn't have gotten to the base and probably could have lost this game. Hopefully this sort of makes you think a bit about the game and the expected value of certain things you do. This is a very, very, very clear, in my opinion, example of a negative EV situation that did turn positive, don't get me wrong, but it should not have turned positive and it was just a bad decision overall. Thanks for watching this video.